you for coming by. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. What's he talking about? Good luck. Oh, my project. Which is? Well, I think it needs um, some explanation. All right, all right. Palmer, when, uh, when Tad died, I took a long, hard look at my life and, and where I was and what I've accomplished. Seems to me you've accomplished a great deal. Yes, professionally, I think that's true. I've been very fortunate. And? Personally, there are some things missing in my life. Uh, I mean, it's not that I haven't had meaningful relationships, but I really don't see any romantic involvement in the picture any time soon. What has this got to do with you wanting to take a sabbatical? What I want in my life right now is a child. And uh, I'm not getting any younger, and I really can't afford to wait for the man of my dreams to just magically appear, so I have decided to adopt a baby. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. I mean, can't you find a little satisfaction in your career? It's not the same. Palmer, look, I just wanted to tell you, all right? I wanted to tell you what I want to do because there's not really any arguing with it or discussing it. It's something I have made the decision and I want to do it. Yes, well, yes, of course. I know there's no <coughs> dissuading you once you've set your course, but why, why a sabbatical? It doesn't take that much time to find a baby this day and age. Well, there are even agencies that locate one for you. I don't, I don't want an agency to handle this. I really don't. Um, I want to make the decision about which child I'm going to raise. I, I want to know medical histories. I, I want to know, I want to know who the parents are. And I have heard that, that the process is much simpler in Europe. Europe? And I will need four or five months away from Tempo. Because I want to make this decision. I, I want to be the one who's going to be involved. I mean, it's much too important a decision to let somebody else make it. But four or five months, why, I thought, well, that's just not, it, it re, I mean, what am I going to do with tempo, hmm? I mean, uh, how am I going to find any uh, adequate editor who wants to take over for only five months? That's well, just impossible. Oh, Palmer, it's, it's the publishing business. I mean, replacements happen all the time and life goes on and I, I certainly, I'll be here a couple of more months. It's more than enough time to have, find somebody who will fill in. I, I just can't believe that you're asking me to do this. Look, if you want to replace me permanently, that's, that's up to you. Uh, the thing that I am telling you is that this is something I'm going to do and nothing is going to stop me from adopting a baby. All right, I think it's foolish. I think it's ill-advised. Okay, you can have your sabbatical. Thank you. And I do appreciate your understanding this. Brooke, I... Oh, uh, hello, Palmer. You look happy. What are you and Brooke up to? You have no right to question us. Get out. You live here now? Adam. You know, just when I think that things can't get worse, you show up to prove me wrong. Trouble at the magazine? None of your business. Brooke, I think we've finished what we had to talk about. So, it's that time of morning when I take Junior for his little outing. Oh, do you, you do that? Oh, yes, 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 yes. We make a tour of the grounds. One of the great joys of my life. We visit the dogs, we visit the horses. He loves the horses. What are you there. talking about? Oh. Oh, Dixie didn't tell you. Oh, I must have slipped to mind. Tell me what? Well... Dixie and, uh, and Junior have moved back to Cortland Manor, permanently. <sighs> See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you, Palmer. Mm. Watch your back. <sighs> One must always assume that Palmer's lying. Is there a reason that you're here? Yes, that fainting spell last night. I'm, I'm worried about you. No, Chuck, you know, he looked me over. There's n no problem. Why'd you faint? 
I don't know. You know, it, it, it just happened. I have low blood pressure, basically, I guess. But I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, that, that's the end of the story. Take good care of yourself, Brooke. Get, get more rest, maybe. Get a complete physical. Yes. I, I thank you for your concern. I, I have to leave for the office. I still worry about you. Well, you, you don't have to. Um, I'm glad you're okay. Difficult. I I'll call a plumber. No. Ow. I can do it. I can do it. Do fine. you need a smaller wrench, maybe? No, this one is gonna be just fine and dandy. You still uh, thinking about adopting a kid? As a matter of fact, it's gone past the thinking stage. You're kidding. Yeah. You mean you got one already? No. What I, what I was referring to is that I'm making plans to go to Europe. I'm going to see if I can arrange an adoption there. When I do, then I'll bring the baby home here to Pine Valley. You're really getting serious about this, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I talked to Palmer, and he's already agreed, you know, that I... We'll be able to take a leave of absence from the magazine. Here's something, Brooke. You're some dame. When you go for it, you really go for it. Uh, yep, once I make up my mind. <laughs> so, uh, how long do you figure it'll take? I don't know, maybe four or five months. Brooke, do you mind if I ask you a, a personal question? If I said yes, would it stop you? Probably not. <laughs> That's what I thought. Has Tad's death made you want to have a kid more? Why don't you ask that? Well, I just kind of figure that death makes us focus more on life. Trevor, I've wanted a, a child for a long time, long before Laura died. When Adam and I were divorced, I just, well, I just put it out of my mind, or at least I thought I had. Anyway, yeah, I guess to answer your question, the answer is yes, Tad's death made me think. Life is short, so it doesn't make any sense to, to put off your dreams, right? Yeah, I can relate to that. Aren't you finished? <laughs> Artist at work, don't rush me. <laughs> Listen, I need to get something in the bedroom. I'll be right back. Go ahead. Brooke, uh, I think I'm gonna need that, that other wrench you talked about. Where is it? Oh, well, it's either in the drawer or in the cabinet. The drawer or the cabinet. Hope you have another uh, washer or two. <laughs> 